Okay, we're here at Millwall with Michael Dunn of all departments. Happy Christmas! <laughs> um, we've just seen the first half against Millwall, and um, first thing I'm going to Mr. Smith has come in for a bit of attention. Yeah, well, he's brought him into the team. He had a bit of a, a knockabout timer in the first half last year when he came in for Simon Francis. It's been pretty similar this year, so I don't know if we'll see him in the second half. I'm assuming Mark Q must be knackered after, after the Fulham game. So, uh, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens who comes out at uh, uh, the start of the second half. And we, we've seen two goals, so uh, the first move was um, Mr. Daniels up the uh, left wing. And it seemed to cause Millwall a bit of problems. I couldn't really understand why he fouled him there. He'd only just gone into the box and he immediately threw what was potentially a, a, a tackle that would concede a penalty. And then, well, he did concede the penalty and Jan then took it. And I always think of that one he scored against, or he didn't score, and he's playing for Leicester in the playoffs. Uh, luckily, he went for the corner. I actually thought it was going to go wide, but it was a, it was a perfect penalty, really. So, yeah, we took the lead. It's all good. We haven't, haven't been playing that well, but um, the, we found a few spaces now and again, I suppose. And uh, the second goal uh, came just before half time, didn't it, really? Yeah, it's not been a champagne performance, but you can't ask for much more than being 2 0 up at half time away from home. The second goal, I think, uh, defence seemed to make a bit of a mess of it. Wilson got through and then he found Harry who looked like he was going to go for his first time he seems to get stuck under his feet or something but he kept his head and uh, had to do a little turn on the board and, and, and found the net and needless to say it's his birthday today so his celebration was even more extravagant than normal ran the entire length of the pitch to the Bournemouth fans and yeah it was brilliant <laughs> What do, you, what do you find think of the attendance here today? Because the Bournemouth brought a lot of fans today. Yeah, we've got a lot here. I don't think there's anybody in the lower tier, as far as I know, but the upper tier looks pretty full from where I'm standing. Uh, Millwall is not bad town. I mean, the stadium's a little bit too big for them these days. They might come a day when they need a stadium this big. But uh, this is the kind of size stadium we could do with, really, at the moment. But when they built it, I guess they were hoping they were going to go on and have sustained success. But I reckon it's probably about 12... 14,000, something like that. What do you think uh, Ian Holloway's going to try and do uh, second half? Do you think he's going to try and uh, put loads of balls in our box again? Well, we were 2-0 up at Dean Court about a month ago and they went a bit more direct. Ricardo Fuller came on and they seem to have a lot more success with that. So we could see that in the second half. Hopefully Lightning won't strike twice. I think Ian Holloway might be too busy berating the fourth official anyway. Thanks very much, Michael. All right, mate. Cheers.